Hi friends, this is Chris with Josephine's Designs. I must really be um, distracted because I completely filmed the whole making and planning of this planner and unfortunately I looked up and it wasn't there. So I am going to start over and I'm just going to share with you what I planned because I think this one is a very long planning time so I don't want to bore you guys. So. I was even saying that in the video, so let me know if you like it when I share it with you afterwards. So, this is my start planner. I absolutely love this planner. It is kind of my base for everything else. And here we go. I used some of the washi here from um, Dollar Tree. I used some washi also from um, Michael's Recollection brand. And I used a little bit of this Michael's Recollection, mainly that large um, washi there. And then I also used um, almost all of this tube, as you can see. And that is from Hobby Lobby. And all the washies were bought on sale, except for Dollar Tree, because there are some for a dollar. So, um, the little stickers are from Peekaboo Planning. And there it is, right there. Peekaboo Planning. It's a shop on Etsy, and she has the most darling, darling goodies. And I am really enjoying. She also had this... I'm a Proverbs 31 woman, and as you can see, I used all but three of the scriptures, and that is also from Peekaboo Planning as well. So, um, yeah, here we go. So, in this week, um, today is Saturday, so um, I just went through, did some of the really cute headers that were in the freebie sheet she gave us for September. It says, hello, September, leaf, pumpkin, all that kind of good stuff. I did decide I don't have much to go to the grocery store this week except for fresh fruits and vegetables, which we always, um, we keep fresh fruits and vegetables here all the time because, well, we're vegetarian and um, there we buy things such that we don't need to go like every two days. We just go like maybe once a week. And um, I used to run a fruit and vegetable co-op, so I kind of know how to rotate fruits and vegetables and what will last in your fridge or on your counter, what will not. And so anyway, so I don't have much to go to the grocery store this week. So I turned two of the things, two of the little uh, sections into two, two, I turned them into to-do list. Okay, that's a tongue twister. All right. And then I also... Um, and putting things down for, like, here's a grocery run. I need to go get green cilantro. I'll go that day. Um, actually, I should be asking my husband. He's at Walmart right now. But that's okay. I can pick that up. And um, I'm going to, we did not get to church this morning. I am feeling really, like, bone tired. And I, when I feel like that, that's my immune system saying, you have to stop now. You cannot, you, you know, do not collect 200. Stop. You know, that kind of the Monopoly game. So, um I am going to work on my Bible studies at home and um, and then also my planners and my videos and then editing. I'm going to do that both days and I'm doing some craft projects in between and I'm excited. I've got a couple of things I'm working on to show you guys um, in the next few, um, few weeks here. So, all right. So here's my Monday. It is a day off with my husband. I did have more of the decorations that came on that freebie sheet and uh, more here. So, yeah to do's for the days I put that there and I absolutely adore this washi this came from Hobby Lobby and it's just charming and I put my scripture there because this week it says I am in charge of how I feel today I am choosing happiness and you know what happiness is a choice I totally agree with that um even in the worst of moments, happiness is a choice. So um, I think I'll go ahead and I'll read, and I'll have to pull this up so I can see it because it's so small. Speak with wisdom and faithful instructions in her tongue. Uh, she speaks with wisdom and faithful instructions in her tongue. Proverbs thirty-one twenty-six. that's for Monday. And for the weekend, it's charm and deception. And charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting. But a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Proverbs thirty-one thirty. So, I thought those were good scriptures. Whoops, I jumped ahead, my apologies. So here is Tuesday. I put my to-dos up there. I just put some little glitter washi there that came in our kit for our um, design collaboration and just some more of the other goodies from Peekaboo. And then this one says, A wife of noble character who can find. She is, she is worth far more than rub rubies. Goodness, I'm sorry, guys. Pro Proverbs 31.10. Okay, 
I'm trying to go too fast, sorry. And then on this side, um, it says, speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves, for the rights of all who are destitute. Proverbs 31.8. And right now, here in Texas, that's a big deal. So I love that scripture. And so more of that pretty washy. And that, that really, that, that scripture um, really hits my heart in a good way. And um, I am enjoying the um, opportunity um, to remember times, even as a small child, where um, I tend to be the one who likes the underdog. Um, I like the runts in the litter when you have puppies. I like, um, I like the challenges, and I, I find real joy in those situations. So anyways, but here we go. Let's keep going. So I, I really like that scripture. It really means a lot to me. Um, her husband has full confidence in her and lacks nothing and lacks nothing of value. Proverbs 31:11. And then lastly, on Friday, it is she is clothed with strength and dignity. She can laugh at the days to come. Proverbs 31:25. So, hopefully you guys can see that a little bit better. And I'm using a cute little paper clip. There were these. They came in um, a kit from the Target Dollar Spot that I got. 70% uh, off. I literally paid, I think, 30 cents for this whole thing. Wait, let me stop and think. No, 90 cents for this whole thing. It was such a good buy. So I've got that one there, and I have this clip here. And this one doesn't open as easily. It doesn't like a lot of bulk. So, um, But I am going to leave it up a little bit so I can use it like a tab. So anyways, um, I apologize again for messing up the video. I really don't know how I did it. But... Um, I, I obviously am a little tired today, so I apologize. Anyways, but most importantly, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for bearing with me and my my user errors. I so appreciate all of y'all. And um, I hope that this encourages you to get in there, um, do your best you can to be organized and plan as best as you can for yourself and your family and whoever it is that you affect in your world. And, um, yeah, I mean, it, there, it's always good to have a plan. You don't always get to, it doesn't always happen the way you want it to, but that's okay. At least you're trying and working towards um, a goal, right? That's what a plan is, so it's a goal. All right, well, um, if you're not subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. We love you. Welcome the new subbies. Welcome our new friend from South Texas who sent me a message. I appreciate that. If you have anything you would like to ask, please feel free to leave a message in the comments or email me privately. And um, also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And again, I apologize. I apologize for this being a different kind of video, but I did want to share with you um, what I did do for this week, and this is where I start in all my planning. So, anyways, um, most importantly, I hope that your day is blessed, creative, and lovely. And I just thank you guys so much for stopping by, and I look forward to talking to you soon. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.